are all going on a two-week vacation to California. Absolutely everything out of your pocket, including the lens. Here, Kate. Oh, poor baby. Just this big runny nose. There's been a bad illness going around. I have two treatments that should help a lot. And there's a lot of activity going on in our family today because we are at the airport. And this is the big vacation we've all been waiting for. They are all going on a two-week vacation to California. Mm -hmm. It's so exciting. This is also the twins' first airplane trip. How do you like their headbands? We thought these were so cute and summery, almost like beach colors. Yeah, they are almost like matching. Yeah, they are like matching. So we are just about ready to go through security. Christy's got her backpack, Tori's backpack, and baby Emma and the twins and daddy C's are over there. So are we ready to go? Yes. Let's go through security. It's not scary babies. We'll be okay. Are they doing okay, Christy? Yes. Good. Shoes, jackets, belts, you can put it on. Absolutely everything out of your pocket, including the lens. Good job. That's so sweet. And they'll go. Good job, twins. You'll be just fine. Is that so cute? Maybe. Did they make it through? Oh, they Here make it through. <laughs> okay, Christy, you can take them out and hold them. Yay! Good job, Ew. twins. They're so brave. She lost her headband Oops, again. Again, that's okay. We made it through security, and look who's watching the babies for us. Baby Emma. She's doing such a good job. Just loving them and helping them. Thank you, baby Emma. Okay, so we're here at our gate, and Christy and the twins are just chilling, relaxed. Look at all this luggage we have with us for all of our babies and all of our things. The trip is going well, isn't it, Christy? Mm -hmm. We're just relaxing. This is an evening flight, and so we're hoping all of the babies will sleep while we're on the plane. Well, we have to see. They might be kind of sad. Hopefully not. Hopefully everyone will be happy. You can see Daddy C and Toria and baby Emma over there. So we're just waiting for our plane to come in and we will be boarding in about an hour. But Christy, you know what? We heard something kind of fun. What? We heard that there's a kids play area here. Should we go take baby Emma and Toria and the twins over there? Yes. Let's load this up and let's go over there for a little bit before our plane takes off. Okay, let's go. Wow, Christy, you have your hands full. Yeah. You're being such a sweet big sister to all these babies. How cool is that? You can climb like the animals on those. I'm going to watch the twins here. They're being pretty happy while all the girls play. Go see the plane that we're going to be flying on. Yeah. See in the window. Do you see the pilot in there, Toria? You can see it's starting to get a little bit dark. We're going to be flying when the stars come out and sleeping too. Oh, now they're getting sleepy, and it's just about time for us to board. Yeah. I'm waiting in line. Go! Are you so excited? Yeah, I'm kind of scared too. You're kind of scared. So, which baby do you have with you? Babies. Here's our plane. What are we doing? We are flying to California. Who are you taking with you? Kate and Grandma. What's going on? Are we going fast? Yes. Are we getting up in the air? What's happening? We're going to Apple. 
Who do you have with you? To Los Angeles. For your continued safety and the safety of those around you, seatbelt securely fastened until the aircraft comes to a complete and final stop at the gate. Did you have a good flight? Yeah. Now we're just waiting to disembark, huh? Okay, we made it out of the plane and we're waiting for our luggage. Hopefully it comes soon. It's Christy. Here some comes. See your car seat? Our bag. Hey, it looks like Daddy found our car seats and all our luggage. Good job, Christy and Kate. Good. Claire is doing well too. We are out waiting for our shuttle to take us to our hotel tonight. We've got the whole crew here, and Claire too. We are in California. Now we're in California. Let's start our adventures. Made it to California for our California adventure and the little twins slept so well. The hotel had these play pens that we could use for baby Emma who you can see is still sleeping and the baby born twins. So they did so well last night. The hotel had also these little swaddle blankies which I was so glad about because they slept perfectly wrapped up like that. They really liked I think that comfort in a new place like the girls new hotel room. And you can see that we have Christy and Toria in the king size bed. They're sleeping together. The twins are here. Baby Emma is sleeping in this playpen. All the girls crashed in their day clothes. So we are gonna definitely get everything washed up today and then in some clean clothes. But she has her Affy and her bun on her little blankie. And here are the big girls. They are sleeping in, which I'm totally great with. Daddy C went down to get some breakfast, so I think I probably should start waking these little girls up so they can eat too with us. Christy, good morning. Good morning, Toya. Good morning, girls. We're in California now. Are you so excited? No one's waking up in here, so let's turn the light on. Girls, good morning. How are you? Did you all sleep well last night? Well, it looks like it's taking Daddy C just a little bit longer to get here with the breakfast. He's organizing that for us. Would you girls like to hold the baby? Yeah! Okay, let me go get the twins. Okay, babies, come here, little girls. Good morning. Good morning. This is Kate. Would you like to hold her, Toria? Okay, you go sit down by Christy and I'll give her to you. Okay, come here. She's still kind of sleeping. Good morning, little girl. And you can hold her for me. Thank you. Oh, Clara. You're so sweet. Here's Christy. Oh, that's so precious. Girls, thank you. They are doing so well on this trip. Yeah. I see them swaddle her. Yeah. Oh, let me see here. I just saw her eyes wide open. Oh, hi, little Clara. She's so sweet. Oh, baby Emma. That plane ride last night wore this child out. She is so tired. It's after 9 a.m., which means that it would be after 11 a.m. on the time zone that we are usually used to, that we were on yesterday and are on most days. But baby Emma is still sleeping. So cute. Now, well, look who's awake now. Baby Emma just in time for breakfast. We have oranges, orange juice. Banana. Daddy C brought so much excitement to this um, girl's room. You love yogurt and oranges? Yeah. Okay. 
and all these special fruits for us. Oh, yummy. Thank you, Daddy C. Let's eat our breakfast. Yeah. And the baby twins will get their food too. Good breakfast, everybody. You have happy tummies. And the twins, we were able to give them their bottle when they were ready. And we're all just kind of relaxing. Toria is looking at photos. Christy is working on a little art project. This is Christy's little project she's working on. It's like a princess coloring page, but you make it turn colors by adding water. So she's painting that. Baby Emma is here being so happy. And the twins are taking a little snooze. Daddy C and I have been working on packing up. So we're just waiting for Daddy C to go get our rental car and we are all packed up. You can see all our luggage there. I'll show you the baby born twins. They have a special little spot on the suitcases and they're doing so good after their nap. They have had a huge day already and you can tell that Kate is already starting to fall asleep. So is baby Emma. Look at that happy, tired little Californian girl. Hi friends, it's Renee here and I have to bring you up to date. Christy and Kate and Clara were all starting to sneeze and it's just gone downhill from there, these poor babies. And now they're having troubles breathing so we're here at the doctor's office waiting for our appointment. And the twins are finally sleeping but it's just been a really rough the last couple days. Christy, how are you doing, hon? You're being so brave. You're not feeling well, are you? <laughs> Is it hard to breathe? Oh. Well, Dr. Tulip should be with us soon. <laughs> oh, so glad I brought my box of tissues. These little babies just had so many snotties. It's okay, baby. Here, Kate. Oh, poor baby. Just this big runny nose. Kelly family. Oh, that's us. Hello, Mrs. Kelly. Hello, Dr. Tulip. What brings you in today? It looks like your girls aren't well. They've had a fever, are having troubles breathing, they have terrible runny noses, and I'm afraid they have ear infections. So all of them have it? Well, Christy and the twins have it. Oh, I haven't met your other twin. Oh, that's right. This is Clara. Well, hi, Clara. It's so nice to meet you. I'm so sorry that you're not feeling well, though. We certainly did not intend for her first appointment to be us coming in because of illness. Well, I hope that we can help her get all better. There's been a bad illness going around that has caused the children to have high fevers, trouble breathing, but the good news is I know how to treat it, and I have just the thing that will help. Oh, thank you, Dr. Tulip. You're welcome. Hi, Christy. It's good to see you. Are you not feeling so well today? Mm-hmm. Have you been having this sickness for a little while? Mm-hmm. How many days would you say? Um, like two or three. Two or three days. Your cheeks look a little bit flushed. Let's get you checked out, okay? Okay. Will you help the twins too? Yes, I think I'll be able to help them. Probably the same things that will help you will also help the twins. Hmm. Well, let's get the twins out and check them out. Okay, Christy, we're going to get you feeling all better. You and the twins, okay? Okay. I have to put these gloves on first. These are my special gloves that I use for special patients, just like you and your sisters. Oh, poor babies. They just are so sad right now. Okay, well, let's take everybody's temperature. Uh-oh. Oh, it looks look like they're very, very hot. Let's try this one. Wow, that one's really hot the too. same temperature. Yes. Okay, so this, do you think this is a similar virus that they all have? It seems like it must be. Let's take Christy's temperature as well. Look at that. Same thing. Oh, Christy, here, let me get your nose. 
see doctor this is exactly what we've been dealing with just so many snotty noses they're, they're the twins let me get some tissues oh i know i just have to we've been going through boxes of tissues well we'll get them feeling better don't worry so what are you thinking doctor i have two treatments that should help a lot okay the first is this medicine they should take a spoonful every day each one of them for the next week the next thing is this breathing treatment that will help them a lot being able to breathe normally so that they don't have all that shortness of breath and it won't be so scary and what we do need to do is put this little mask over them and use the machine to help administer the medicine okay and that's to help them breathe better Yes. Like a breathing treatment? Yes, that's right. All three of the children will take that? Yes, we'll give this to both Christy and the little babies. Okay, so I'll just attach this to the machine that you're sending home with us and then put this on her head like that. And right, then... and the strap will go around her head if that will help. Can you hold on to that for me? There, and you can just put it around her. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Okay, and that'll go into her nose. Try to breathe through your nose, and if you can't breathe through your nose, you can breathe it in through your mouth, and you'll be able to get all that medicine deep into your lungs. So she won't be wheezing as much. Yes, she that's right. Be able to breathe better. Oh, Christy, this will help so much, especially at night. Do you mind showing me how I would do that on the twins too? Yes, it might be easiest just to hold it right over their faces like this. Okay. You can certainly try to use the straps if you would like. But again, they'll be moving around a lot, so it will be difficult. Okay. They might fuss a little bit, but you can try to soothe them and calm them. If you need to, you can turn the machine off and take a little break and just make sure they're able to go through this whole package. Thank you, Dr. Tula. You're welcome. I hope you get so much better, Christy. Okay, well, twins, we're going to be getting ready to go. The little girls are still not feeling their best, but thankfully we do seem to like have answers now. Oh, let me get a tissue for her nose. Oh, little Kate. There we go. Christy, you too. Oh, they're still sleeping. Hi, guys. It's Renee here. And Christy and the twins have been recovering from their illness. They went to Dr. Tulip recently and he gave them some medicine. It's almost eight o'clock and they're still sleeping and it's time for their next dose. So you can still hear that they're breathing kind of heavily, but I'm gonna have to wake them up for their medicine. Good morning, girls. Christy, how are you feeling? Good. You're still coming up sick. Really? Uh -huh. What time is it? Oh, it's almost eight o'clock. Let's get your medicine and then you can have your breakfast too. Would you like to eat in bed today? Yeah. Okay. I better get these twins up. Good morning, Clara. Clara. Okay, time for your medicine. Aw, you're waking up, good girl. Oh, I can still see they have some runny noses. Okay, let me go get their medicine. Okay, so here's the tool that Dr. Tulip sent us home with that I'll be giving the girls this morning for a breathing treatment. And then also here's their medicine that he sent us home with. So we'll make sure to get this into them at the right times, which is now. Okay, I got it all set up with the medicine. Here, Christy, I'll have you go first. Brave, honey. What you want to do is just breathe in through your nose, Dr. Tulip said, okay? Here we go. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John. Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. breathe better? Did that seem to help you? Uh -huh. Oh good. I hope it helps the twins too. Here Kate. You want to help me hold it on Kate? Okay Kate, your turn. She slept through that. 
Okay, but now Clara is kind of awake, so sometimes it's harder with babies when they're awake. Okay, let's try this. Oh, it's okay, Clara. Dr. Tulip wanted you to take your medicine. I'm on an empty stomach, so I'll go get that, okay? okay. One spoon for you. Whole thing. Good. How did that taste? It tasted like grapes. Grapes? Okay, your turn. One spoon for you. She is just kind of laid back, isn't she? She takes her medicine so well. I'm a little concerned about Clara. She sometimes is a little bit more sad about things. Clara, here's yours. It's okay. Uh, oh, 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 drink it all, honey. Don't spit it out. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get a bottle after this. Okay, wow. Well, girls, now I can go get your breakfast. Would you like a warm bowl of oatmeal, Christy? Yes. Okay, and I'll go get the bottles ready for the twins. Don't worry, okay. girls. We'll take good care of you today. Okay, so here's Christy's oatmeal. I'm just doing a very small dish of oatmeal today because she doesn't have that much of an appetite. And she loves cinnamon, especially when she's not feeling well. She also really enjoys some raisins. So let's put a couple of those on there for her. Oopsie. Uh-oh. And, of course, she loves some honey. I'll drizzle some honey on that for her. She'll enjoy this little treat. And then for the twins, I just mixed up their bottles. And I always like to put something fun on her tray when she's not feeling well, just to make her smile. So I have these fun little friends, these little bear friends or puppy friends. So I think I'll put these on her tray for her. Oopsie, we don't want the puppy to eat the cereal though. Christy, I've got Hi. your breakfast. Are you ready for breakfast in bed? Yeah. Hey, little doggy. Do you like the puppies and the little yeah. bear friends? Yes. Oh, good. Here's your oatmeal. I made it with raisins and cinnamon and honey for you. That's my favorite thing. You're welcome. Let me play. Okay. Okay. Let's eat my food. You're looking better, Christy. Thanks. Do you feel a little better? Yeah, a little bit. Let's take your temperature after you're done eating, okay? Okay. And I think while you're eating, I'll feed the twins. Okay. I have their bottles all ready. Aw, they're still so tired. And actually, sleep is probably the best medicine for them. to the last bite. You did so well eating that, Christy. Shall I take your temperature now? Yeah. How are you feeling? Are you feeling better? Kind of. Okay. You're getting better. Christy, the medicine and the rest is helping you. Christy, I'm so glad. Well, I'll check the twins too. Hi, Claire, let's check your temperature. Oh, this is such good news. Look at them. Oh, and you can tell we just have a little bit of runny noses, but they're getting so much better. It's not dripping like it was yesterday. Hey, Kate, how was your temperature? Oh, it's so much better too. Yay. Well, Christy, do you feel like resting some more now? Yeah. And I'll get the twins in some new outfits though. Okay. Okay, so I have the twins and we're going to change them into these cute little onesies. <laughs> it's so cute, it has two little monkeys on it. So Claire will wear that and Kate will wear this cute little flower onesie. I think they'll feel better if they're in new clean outfits. 
We'll start with Kate. Well, there she is. Still resting so peacefully. I think I'll take her over to Christy and see if she wants to hold her while I get Clara ready. Hey, Christy, would you like to hold Kate while yeah. I get Clara dressed? Yes, my new little puppy. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Christy. Yeah. Let me know if she wears you out too much and I can come get her. Okay. Okay, so now we'll get little Clara ready for the day. Aw, there's little Clara. She's so cute in this little monkey onesie. Let's go see your sisters. Here's your Clara. Oh, oh. we can snuggle by me. Well, I think I'll let you girls just all hang out together. Does that sound good? Yeah. Christy, would you like me to bring a little pile of books for you to read? Yeah, I can read it to the twins. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, I'll go get some baby books. Christy, here are the books that I picked out for you all. Well, okay. girls, I'm so glad you're feeling better. I can really tell. Look at the sweet little faces. It looks like you're on a good track to be feeling 100%. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed that special video of Kate and Clara and Christy getting over their bad illness with the breathing treatment and medicine. And if you want to get more of the background on their story, their adoption, and their newborn days, I've created this playlist right here. Click it and we'll watch it now.